Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing absolutely fabulous. Thanks for joining for another combination reading. I have been working through the whole zodiac, so if you've missed any of these, you'll just have to either go back on the community section and uh, just scroll back for the last couple weeks. Uh, I went like a week, there's like a week uh, within uh, the time frame that I first started these and then I picked them back up again, so... Uh, once you hit the end of those, go back another week and there'll be a few there if you did not find your combination. But anyway, we're getting through it and all of that's a big work when I do this, but it keeps me busy. So anyway, uh, welcome back if you are returning and if you are new, my name is Shannon and I look at real hardcore energy. It's a hard work that I do on the channel. We uproot wicked, stupid, freakish nastiness, okay? If you find yourself in stupidness, just get up, please. Look in the mirror and fix it. All of us at some time has been in some stupidness and we live and learn and got a t-shirt for it and everything else. Some people are worse than others and depending on how far you went, um, you know, some some people are seared. They don't give a rip and they're, they're, they're called the wicked and I attack that stuff. And so anyway, I could come across real churchy and religious and stuff like that and I'm not. The scriptures found in the tarot. It's honored here. It's written upon my heart. I keep the Ten Commandments. I love the great divine people call him the universe. I call him by a scriptural name. He's got many names about him. So you'll hear me connect uh, as Yehovah Elohim is uh, reading. Uh, is the He's actually he's the only one. There is no other. Anything else is demonic entities and fallen stupidness. All right, but Yehovah is it. He is our salvation. He is Yeshua. I do kiss his only begotten son that walked among us in the flesh. He is the root of David. And he tells us if we don't kiss his son he gets mad at us and i love yeshua um but anyway this is who i am uh take it or leave it do whatever you got to do but uh, you are going to get scripture here and sometimes it comes out heavy sometimes not i really don't care you always say what he wants and because he i fear him and he's just so magnificent on this channel he deserves to be boasted about every second of the day but i can't do that so <laughs> yeah i do but i mean i just you know what i mean is just every word out of my mouth holy 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 type of stuff and he is but i'm working for him and doing what he uh, has called me to do in a very big way on this channel so anyway if you say you stay if you don't then think it should now uh we're gonna look at aries and pisces here and see what's going on with this energy we're just pulling cards and uh, we'll see what's hidden that you're going to learn about that's coming to the surface and all of that we will take from a homemade deck with words and stuff like that so let me just connect i just appreciate you you hold out with all my heart with all my strength with all my soul i just invite your presence i thank you for the holy spirit i thank you for the angels that you give charge over those who are um in covenant with you and you you protect father i just thank you uh we just take authority over every foul wicked dark nasty lying deceptive energy right here right now and uh you'll hope a rebuke you straight to the pit of hell right now what do you want to bring out between aries and pisces energy you hold up what's going on Pisces I just did a reading for you and Sagittarius and your energy was all over the place okay always remember these energies can flip-flop and if these energies if your energy in the negative side of things come out and you're not that ain't you somebody around you because that energy is attached somehow for your testing in this realm uh, it, it's playing around you so whatever you know like it, 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 you know if somebody's a hothead, then they're, they're just not walking with the great one. We're not subject to the Zodiac. We serve the one higher than the Zodiac. But some people are opened up to that stuff. So you got you to gotta put up with it and learn how. You got to learn your enemy. I'll just say it that way. So uh, our enemy is easy to detect. They are easy to detect. And we're dealing with crazies in this hour and stuff like that. So... I just felt like I need to say that. If you're upright, you're upright. If you're not, well, I guess you're not. You're either going to hear today and fix something or you're out because you're always getting rid of wickedness. So there you are, Pisces, coming out. Um, so somebody's really, you know, hanging around, hanging around, hanging around, trying to figure out something, looking from all points of views. Maybe you have a different point of view now of something. I'm not sure. This is very creative stuff. This is arts and music and poetry and stuff like that. It's also a psychedelic card, crazy card, confusing card, poison card. Um, 
it's the Lamed in the Hebrew, so the letter L and the pictograph looks like a J, so those two letters could be prevalent, doesn't have to be. It's a very prophetic card. It's a shepherd's staff that's pushing and pulling a, a people to protect because some people are dealing with the backwards organization, so you do see a backwards four here, and four goes to organization. And so if you're in the upright, try to figure out something. This is sacrificing, and I do, if you are new, I attack occultism and people think it's okay to sacrifice people and that's the most free that's why it's crazy all right we have a lot of water this is stormy water card as well and so if somebody's seeing something from another point of view and somebody's happy and you've coming out of some type of a uh, stormy waters or you got some type of high discernment and stuff then that's great we have the rainbow here and uh, we had the rain come out in wording i believe pisces within you and sagittarius's energy um so if there's a lot of money involved in something because the star was there than, than it is or something's just very stormy and there's a lot of emotions around something in a very big way, okay? We have somebody in their mind. Okay, well, this is also a prison card and this is an incarceration card. Somebody's incarcerated in their mind within something. There's a judgment here. All right, so the letter R, this is the somebody coming back around for a judgment, very karmic uh, energy coming out. Uh, with the judgment card, it's the letter Resh in the Hebrew. So if you are new, it represents the head of something. A certain man could be involved uh, within some ordeal. This is a boss. This is a. Uh, um, being at the top of something. It's an evaluation card. The eighth house goes back to water energy. is really big out here um, in your energy. And this, this just goes back to things that are magnetic, secret, sex, money, property, taxes, being in the gutter, stuff like that. Somebody tried to hold something down that, that has energetically changed and so be it. Somebody's going to go to prison. This is government there because we have the incarceration card here. Somebody really in their mind dealing with some, something very mental then that's what it's showing here but there is some type of a judgment here with the judgment card if that's FBI then it is then again it's law then out here okay and um, we're gonna see what else is gonna be added with this uh, message yes so the nine of swords is here that was also in somebody else's reading the queen of swords also showed herself with the king of swords Pisces in your other reading you're really dominating some energy out here with water all right, um, I don't know where the element of fire is. And so there is some some, some type of rebellion has been here. Uh, the Queen of Swords in this deck has a mass. So if you're dealing, you know, if that's upright, then there's investigation around somebody. All this air, 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 air. water, water, water. That's a hurricane. This is stormy waters here. At the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords was also there. In, I hate to make this about Pisces, but Pisces, your, your, your energy is really big somewhere, okay? Uh, or, you know, a lot of you Aries have that in your chart somewhere. So, so that, that energy is really playing out within something that's going on. This is a guilty card. Somebody's guilty, they're going to go to prison and be incarcerated. Somebody's mask can be torn off because there's been cruelty out here within some ordeal. Somebody's crazy within your energy. It, it just is. Let's see what's hidden that's coming to the surface. What's underneath this? Well, there's the there's the justice. Okay, so we got Libra out here as well. So we have the letter R, the little the letter L, the J, and then the K is also here. Okay, we got things that are unbalanced given what's out here. We got legal matters going on a very big way. If somebody was gullible within something, then so be it. There's something something very contractual here with the justice card. There will be justice. Okay, somebody will be bent to something. Maybe that's why they're in their head because they know that there's been cruelty and lies and deceit around some stupidness, and somebody's worn a mask. All right, so um, there's that uh, you know bat out of hell coming out here. It's twice in this reading. Okay, As somebody's out of control. Okay, well, some, somebody, somebody guilty of murder or sacrificing or stealing something or whatever that is for you in your connection. There's been cruelty out here within something. Just a lot of air coming out within your energy. Show me what's hidden, please, that's coming to the surface for Pisces and for Aries. What's going on? Okay, there, there's, there is something, um, I'll see the two that I see then. Take those. Um, there's something fortunate because somebody was told that there was hope 
okay and then the words came out okay the hope card came out and then in wording it also came out so if there's a baby involvement for some of you all there was a pregnancy a situation going on for some of you all and obviously we got children sacrificing then it's here okay um th but this is a victory over something so if you've already been battling in court for some ordeal or over love matters the love card goes back to you know love matters it's an affection card happiness satisfaction somebody is going to be satisfied they're going to be emotionally satisfied because you know, I mean, there's a bunch of money involved in some stuff it's just coming out of the bag it's coming to the surface and you're going to learn about something here within this energy somebody gonna get their justice within some ordeal this is what's coming to the surface so that's great the dog is here so something you know with a friend is here or being loyal or warm or friendly i mean we got nice affectionate energy here you're going to learn about something here um with the dog energy this can be controlling as well it can also go back to same sex issues or if there's jealousy and and something's been going on with contractual things uh, around the workplace since we got a boss figure here it's just been like crazy around something then since something like that is here this can go back to uh, Phoenician God worship as well and, and which takes you back to like Jezebel I'm controlling something here this is controlling stuff with the Queen of Swords in the negative that's she's considered a witch one of her meanings in the negative and then we've got rebellion energy here and so that can trace you back scripturally to that kind of stuff um but there is something nice coming to the surface you're going to learn about some stuff uh spiritual matters are here this is you know again this is a prophecy card as well so some type of or you're, you know you're dealing with your a pastor or a priest or something like that would be here okay something with spiritual matters is showing up in your reading let's get some words Jehovah show me Aries and Pisces Aries and Pisces what do you want to say to them Jehovah it's a judgment card as well and have and it's a faith card it's a making plans spiritually car but that thing's been the negative somebody's been a lying freak and they're an imposter if you're in some type of spirituality there's some type of a lying energy here or you're in the congregation that way or somebody that you're connected to is in rebellion something's out here uh for bodily exercise profiteth little if you're dealing with somebody who in some type of a connection here that goes to the gym just for some type of connection with all your energy then something's here bodily exercise profiteth little but righteousness is profitable unto all things having promise of the life that now is and of which is to come okay well you got some people that if they've sacrificed little children they're twice dead you will never rise again okay we got the judgment card here it's appointed the man to die once and then the judgment and so somebody's already died that's it you ain't getting up out of the grave there's somebody dealing with some some real crazy energy out here uh within some matters what else you want to bring out here, Yehovah? Um, thou shalt remember Yehovah thy Elohim, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to thy fathers. Okay, this also go back to, you know, meaning a, a father type of energy. If we can just take the energy for that, then it'd be out here for confirmation. Uh, we got a bunch of money. So somebody stole something. Seven of Swords is a thievery card. Whoso finds a wife finds a good thing and finds favor of Jehovah. And so we're dealing with, you know, marital situations and stuff like that. Then I guess we are. Let me take from... Because that's what the justice card goes back to. And if somebody's been jealous over some kind of a connection then, then I guess something like that for some of you all would be here. Or somebody did have a nice connection, something happened outside of that. Um, then I guess I could read it that way as well. But somebody's definitely going to go to jail and somebody's crazy out here in your energy. That's it. Uh, if something happened at a festival, maybe somebody was having a good time, something went south and caused something to be stormy, then I guess that's here. Uh, probation energy. And so if you're dealing with somebody who's already been in the pen, they were out on probation, something freaking crazy and cruel happened around that, then I guess so. 
uh, or something, somebody been on probation on their job and some, cause some type of rebellious stupidness. And then there you are. Somebody says, I look from within and not without. Well, this tells us a lot because man looks on the outward appearance. We have something to do with somebody, I guess, because we have this other scripture about exercising profit in it little, um, but being spiritual, it, it, it's more profitable. So, you know, man looks at the heart, or excuse me, man looks on the outward appearance, and Elohim looks at the heart, okay, so something's going on with some type of issue where a relationship was, and I guess so, the sacrifice of the wicked, somebody's wicked, somebody crazy out here, the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination, how much more when it's brought with a wicked mind, oh, this is somebody crazy, okay, somebody just this freak, the truth is known, yeah, the truth is here with clarity. The truth is known about something here. Uh, there's a football player that's involved. That could be high school, college, or NFL. We have the Chiefs here. The judgment card can represent um, the chief of something. We also have the chief of police that's here as well. We have the R and the K. We have the name Rick here as well. Um, anyway, we also have a real liar that's been out here. Um we have Jake, and we can get Joel out here. We can get all kinds of different names. You can sit down with a piece of paper and let Jehovah just speak to you. Uh, the ninth house is specifically coming out here, which would be Sagittarius, um, which uh, is goes back to perception. If you're dealing with a heavy drinker, for some of you all, you might. That energy goes back to the liver or something about somebody's hips and thighs are also here. That's law energy. That's... Um, teaching energy as well this also can go back to teaching as well the righteous are as bold as a lion so you always says to get up and roar if you know something about this freakish stupidness out here the truth is already known there will be justice but you know you need to get up and do something and roar against some crazy freak that's been around some ordeal than you need to okay uh Yehovah kana is a, a jealous elohim you don't look people we got spirituality out here and Jehovah has a way about him and he tells us that the whole duty of man is to keep the commandments okay you go away from Jehovah you get consumed it makes him jealous okay he's jealous over you and I he get jealous when because he's married to his people okay and somebody's done something here and caused some freakishness to take place okay and if you're just um, in general also just dealing with somebody who's been just jealous and oh my god I'm a freak and then somebody went crazy because they got jealous over some stupidness and whatever that is lay a new foundation okay something old and something has just been just it's old at this point especially if you're dealing with people like this or a couple people like this and all they can do is just show up like this, all right? And they open their mouth and, um, you know, they're just, they're a lying freak. They steal everything. And, you know, we got a bunch of money out here. There's somebody blowing the horn on something. Uh, somebody's been hurt real bad within some ordeal between your energy. And uh, there's truthful on both sides. So, you know, we do know that some people have been bullied and stuff like that for some of y'all's energy. And both sides know that you need to be gentle because both sides uh, within some type of a connection has really been hurt. Okay. You always says that something hidden uh, that you're looking for is real close to you and you're going to find it. So if you've been looking, that won't be for me, but it, you know, obviously just take the pieces that apply. If you've been looking for something, um, something's real close to you. It's like the, I'm hearing an elephant in the room, something like that. You're going to find it. Help them find it, Yehovah. Um, well, we have a name that literally just came out. We already have the pictograph that looks like a J, but we have the Jara. We have some type of uh, marriage arranged for a mutual interest. Again, is somebody crazy or oh, some stupid? <laughs> and uh, somebody else was mutually interested, but they show up like this, and they're freak, and they just done my God craziness, and something like that is out here with this rune. Then, okay. Otherwise, there is a mutually there is mutual energy out here. Two people know that they're mutual about one another, and it's ordained by Yehovah. Okay, if if you're if you're walking upright, obviously, and you've connected with Him. Um, this is also a, a, a result within something or a yield of something. Um, this is help and recovery. And yes, we got recovery. You just need to go slow. Well, we have the um, 
this looks like an F, but it's an A, okay? So the A and the J come out, but we have Jeff. Somebody's name is Jeff out here. Uh, then I guess so. We also have somebody goes AKA by some other name here. Somebody's been in fear around some ordeal. Something about somebody's calf is here, okay? We, we have something about uh, the hips and the thighs, and, and I guess, you know, we've got the phonics of a calf. And now that can be like an animal or somebody's leg, the calf side of their leg. Uh, anyway, this goes back to somebody being looted on. This goes back to your energy. Uh, also, Pisces, being real creative and uh, inspirational poetry and stuff like that. That's what your energy goes back to. But this is a looting rune as well. This also is speaking, okay? Somebody's been under a lot of temptation and they can't get it under control because they're in rebellion and something about debt energy is also being connected to your stuff. Well, there's King Swords. It really wants to show up. It showed up, Pisces, in your other, with Sagittarius, and it's literally here. Uh, in your reading, but the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, we had a couple X's come out within some situation. Okay, well, there's Queen of Swords again. We got a lot of people showing up within your energy. Well, anyway, somebody found a good wife and uh, somebody else got jealous over that. Like, you know, like it states out here, who so finds a good wife, finds a good thing. And so that, that rune did come out for some of you all. And something will be fixed. You just need to go slow. Somebody's going to get out of your way. They're going to go to jail. There's also poisons out here. Some people are worthy of an execution because of the craziness that they've done. We have the old woman here. So if you're dealing with somebody a lot older, your grandparent, this is like a wisdom card. This is somebody that is uh, highly respected as well. Maybe you're falling in love at an older age. I'm not sure. Um, this is some something about experience here um but it also is you know somebody who could be real rigid within something as well obviously somebody is somebody's in rebellion here okay anyway until next time shalom